Uh, can't be tracked to find out more. All right. There we go. We go back in and we go down outside. Okay. Don't know why that didn't become the thing. Produce an unknown beverage. So we shall discover the... Okay, we shall go round. Because I cannot move a barrel out of the way. Go out this way. No, no, because they were the ones talking about it. Could you help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Okay, you can't help me. So this way then. Yep. Hmm. I noticed this before. Dr. Tippett's electric pectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Okay. Is it in here, or is that just a dropped bat bottle from the... Where we're going. Right. There's some carts. Well, let's keep going this way then, shall we? And here we get to... Yeah, there we get to some... Help. I can't interact with you. But I would if I could. So that just leads to steps. The steps there... So, we must go this way, then? Must we? No. It has to be from here in some direction. It led us to this point. Hmm. So I could just randomly ask people. Maybe that's what we need to do. So let me now ask about that. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just one question. Of course, I know. To cut a long story short. Can be found in shanty towns, dispensing a yard to the sick and suffering. Okay, so this is the shanty town, I think. You can hear some people coughing. Here is a cart. Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. I should ask someone else. Were well, you just talking about this? The coughing won't go away and the doctor is too pressed. I've, I've just... Ooh, maybe I... Maybe I ask about this. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Oh, I think you can. I believe you're lying. Is there a doctor? A man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. Oh, good grief. No, I've already got one. I've already got one. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Dr. Tibbet's electro-pectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. But I don't know... Like, this is the thing, is they're saying talk to people who are ill. Oh, this is the red rag. Don't want to go there yet. Where are we? The field hospital. Here it is. The cart from warehouse two. Dr. Tippett, I presume. 
So let us observe as best we can. Babyface, very young. Not actually a doctor. Oh, hello. Glowing powder from phosphorus. Shoes? Shoes. No shoes. Okay. Almost doctor. Homemade medicine recipes. Man appears too young to have completed medical university, and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the props warehouse. He's carrying a book on homemade medicine. He's trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's naivety and despair. Uh, his hands, uh, therefore, can hardly, most likely from the props. He's carrying a book. He may have good intentions, but good intentions. No, I think he's a charlatan. Um, because why would you do that if you were just self-taught charlatan? Yeah. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing picto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave? That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested? By your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I... I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. So... Was radium discovered at this point? I don't... Because the book, Study in Scarlet, or, or the story, Study in Scarlet, published in The Strand, I think is 1881. So it's got to be around then or before then. I don't think radium was discovered at this point. And I don't know if it would have been used in medicine. Right, okay, so what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We have uh, the deceased owner, right, we know that. Answer so will be found around the Cursed Mermaid. Th Thomas Tippett is distributing a cure of his own to the port's inhabitants. He seems to be in on his own mission to help those in need. So, it's pointing out, oh, maybe this is wrong. Uh, kind of feed a hospital. If these patients there could visit general homes, they could be more likely. Yeah, I still think he's charlatan. See stone of the warehouse. Okay, that's just what we've just had. What's this one? Can we find a shanty? To oh, right, I already knew that. We already had gained that. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything anything we can see or interact with? The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. I was I was asking about the I wanted to ask about the medicine rather than this. Rather than your thing. Rather than the other thing. Is there not some way I can investigate the medicine? I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. I... Watson, I can hear that. I help up to 50 people here every day. It is working. Almost all men die from their remedies rather than their diseases. I want to change that. Damn phosphorus. I thought it was funny, but you can't get rid of it. If everything goes well, 
I could open a cure center in Lambeth, and even Whitechapel after that. Hmm. Okay. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Well, especially if we're trying to do something else. Are you not paying attention? I got distracted and we're on a we're on a side quest. So you're saying I can still do stuff with him. If everything goes well, but I can't because he's still talking. Oh, that implies that there's maybe something else to ask. If everything nope. goes well, I could open a cure center in Lambeth and even Whitechapel after that. If everything no. goes well, okay. I could open a cure center in Lambeth and even Whitechapel after that. Right, if I can't get anything else, let's just head back to the cursed mermaid. So that's where the warehouse was. We are here. So I may as well walk and I might bump into something else. So there is a side quest there. So yeah, I might actually work on the side quests. Instead of... Oh, there's the red rag. There's a red rag. That may not be the red rag we're after, because there's a place that's all red rags. There are signs of a ghost. I don't think Holmes would do that. Uh, report Thomas Tippett. Oh, and now I can't back out of it. Well, that's fun. This is the problem, is not being able to examine the... medicine. Right, let's report him, I think. Because this is the thing, is Watson's kind of like, well, I mean, he's trying his best, which I don't think is very Watson. I think Watson would be very kind of. Let's look at the medicine. Is it actually going to work? Is it actually more likely to work? So I think. And I don't think Holmes would say there are actual ghosts. He might say he couldn't find anything, or. Yes, so we're going to have to report him then. Constable, my name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please, stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. So, maybe... Maybe we have a different... Op maybe you have different options based on if you say he's trying his best. I don't know. But yes. I will stand by that. We now have some glasses. Square glasses, Windsor glasses. Oh, and those Vogel's glasses. Mm. Yeah. Right. So there's another mission down here that we found in the shanty town. Hello, this is Doctor Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. Okay. Stage of necrosis. Okay. Very pale. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. <laughs> well, if he's hyperventilating, it does mean that he's still alive. Water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? More signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. Okay, so. Sick mudlock. Well, we'll pin that. Can I ask anyone? Ooh. May I ask you something? I can't tell you because I don't know. Uh, call for help. Do you know anything about this? It is a shame I can't answer your question. I mean, you were the ones who were saying it. Oh, these guys. Help me, please. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Just ask someone else. I mean, you're... It's mudlarks are visibly unwell. Why are you unwell? Are you all right? Is the water being poisoned? What are you looking at? Do you like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? Uh... 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I keep forgetting Holmes is water soluble. It's alright. We're going to have to walk over him. Cause... Could you help me? Can't answer your question. So something wrong with the water. May I ask you something? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's see if there's anything up the river. Pile of rotten food. Carries danger, but not of the kind that we would. Hmm. Yes. Might be found upstream. Yes, I know. That's why I've come up this way. If I go further, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna collapse, aren't I? Yep. Yep. So I actually want to go this way, even though that's going to lead me to the main quest. I think. Because there's red everywhere. Bruce, it's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. Okay. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. I can't go through the door, can I? No. Right. Okay. So. Let's have a look at the map, then. We're here. So, oh, oh, by the warehouse. Okay, well, we'll fast travel to the warehouse, then. Warehouses. And we want to go south. Ah, because this is where it comes in. Ah. This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory. A possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving well, on. not unless they've just changed what they, what how they're doing, dealing with things. So that's where they, where it comes out. So keep going. Ooh. I can't get into this section, right? Okay. So the next space is. Can I follow this? And this will bring me to the, another bit of the river. Think. Ah. So something broken through by force recently. A recent cart crash. Spade chemicals. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spade chemicals. And dead fish. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Is there anything over there? Ah. Never load this trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker or 200 pounds a time. She did the Me Mexican Flamingo with Joshua and the poor thing is not running well since. The trolley that is, Joshua broke long ago. Also the ship from Barbados asked for one ton of phenol, so let's hurry up. So hurry up, but... Yeah. So it's... There, okay. So, I thought maybe that would have been relevant. Never mind. Right, so pin, because we can ask people about that. Where were spade chemicals? I'm sure we've wandered past it at some point. Um, I think it was around the warehouses section. Ah, through here. Spade chemicals was round here somewhere. Ah, spade chemicals. I need to get across then. Is that, ah, here's a bridge. Yes, it really not very happy. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I 
hope this can stay between us. Okay. But that hasn't resolved the... Can I ask you a question? Excuse me, what? Well, I'm not sure I know. I'm confused as to why that hasn't kind of resolved the case. 